Hi, I'm Josh and today I'm going to be giving you some LGBTQ plus book recommendations. First up we have Louis Sugg's Girl Online series. These are um, very comforting books to me as I read them when I was younger. Um, they tell the story of Penny, a teenage blogger from the UK who falls in love with American boy band um, rocks or Noah Finn. But unfortunately the queer characters are sidelined like Penny's best friend, Elliot, who is our gay character. However, he plays a pivotal role in the novel as Penny's best friend, but also we get to learn more about him as he explores his sexuality, um, forms a relationship and tries to get a job in the fashion industry. Next we have The Picture of Doreen Gray by Oscar Wilde, who is a famous gay author. He had to hide his sexuality as the 1800 society that he lived in was unaccepting and hostile towards members of the LGBT community. This is on my to be read pile, but it is about a young man who sells his soul for eternal youth with lots of queer subtext, which is great. So I just can't wait to kill up in front of the fire with it. For those of you who like a non-fiction book, then I recommend Joe Lysett's Parsnips Butted. Although Joe is pansexual, the book actually doesn't go that much into his sexuality, which is good as people shouldn't be defined by their sexuality. This is, this is just a hilariously written book by a member of the LGBT community that talks about daily struggles such as parking fines and emails, so I highly recommend checking it out. I think my all-time favourites are the... These are some of Alice Azerman's six books that she has, and I actually found out about her by reading her web comic Heart Supper, which is about two teenage British boys, Nick and Charlie, who also star in this book. Um, and in the webcomic they form an unlikely French. You can buy Heartstopper, which is the name of the webcomic, as a graphic novel as well, and it is about friendship, love and mental health and of course LGBTQ plus representation. Charlie and Nick are in all three of these books that I have and there is a chronic chronological order to them but you can read them in any order that you like. I read this one, Solitaire, which is about Charlie's older sister Tori Fair as she finds herself falling in love and it has been described as the catcher in the ray for modern time. This one, Nick and Charlie, is set in the summer before Nick goes off to university and a little spoiler alert, they worry whether their relationship will last long distance. And then this winter is set at Christmas time so it might be one that you have to wait all year to read but it sees all three of the tour of the spring um, siblings. But them being Charlie, his sister Tori and their younger brother Oliver and um, in it they try to have a normal Christmas with minimal drama. As I've mentioned Alice Osman has three of her books. I was born for this, Loveless and Radio Silence, all of which I'm yet to read but definitely can't wait to as they move away from Nick, Charlie and Tori and explore other characters. If you've read them, let me know what you think down in the comments below because I can't wait to get my hands on them. And last but certainly not least is Wonderland by Juno Dawson and I love this book. I've only recently just finished reading it and it's a modern day retelling of Alice in Wonderland, hence the title, and it focuses on subjects such as mental health, sexual assault, and 
and of course um, LGBT representation. So the blurb says, when Alice's friend Bonnie mysteriously disappears, Alice becomes obsessed with finding her. She meets an array of peculiar characters and forms. She meets an array of peculiar characters and forms a special bond with Maxim Hattis Lee, a star rugby player. Originally, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be another book with um, a heterosexual couple as the main focus. So I was pleasantly surprised when I found out that Alice is trans, so it just made my day. And if it wasn't for sleep and Zoom calls, I would not have put this that book down. It was so good. Juno Dawson is also an amazing person who works with the Stonewall charity and she has many other LGBTQ plus books that I can't wait to get my hands on. That is all of my recommendations, so I, of course, highly recommend that you go check them out. If they seem like your type of book, then definitely buy them. And let me know what your favourite book is down in the comments below, or if you have any LGBT recommendations for me, please share. Thank you for watching. Bye.